Okay, the noises you can hear in the background is because I'm in a practice session. Thanks to all those who pointed out uh, how to do this. But I wanted a spread of cars on the Nürburgring. Um, so it felt more like a track day. So we've got a practice session. And uh, the cars just move out, not in one big block, but they give themselves a bit of room. We've got different classes of road cars out there um, and I will come across, across them at different points on the track. Well that's the plan anyway. So we've got the yellow bird, 400, no, 640 brake horsepower, yeah, 460 brake horsepower and um, for, yes, and road tyres. That's the scary bit, the road tyres bit. So right, everybody's just about out and out, so we will jump in with our cold road tyres. In the most lurry machine out there for the period. Your takes it's clear, stay behind the white line. Your brakes are cold, be careful. Yes, Jim, that is the... Uh, Eloquent tones of Jim. The uh, restraining order has been lifted for one day only. If he survives, maybe we'll work together again in the future. Now this will probably show up. Left side. One Clear of left. the uh, AI improvements in 1.6, which is the hesitancy of the old AI when a slower class is passed by a faster class and it becomes massively on your left confused Hold your line. Clear left. and hesitant Clear oh, left. you put your brakes on Porsche Clear left. yeah apparently that's fixed now Ooh, not something you normally see racing single class but if you go to a multi-class race uh, yeah that's a big problem to the fast section here bearing in mind road tires a little bit of air over there off the brakes roll it in so this Porsche has got a massive I keep saying Porsche it's a roof but it's a Porsche All right it's a Porsche right, it's a Porsche forgive me um, so it's got a massive turbo on this thing which is great but it also has massive turbo lag like, to match the massive turbo so much so that when I blip on the downshift which is a necessity with these tyres and this chassis I've got to really give it a good old poke of the accelerator on the downshifts otherwise it doesn't rev up quick enough and I lock the back wheels got to be a bit agricultural on the clutch and gear shift changes always wary of those tyres so we come up on a Supra We're looking out to get past right side clear right so yeah along with all of that he's actually slowing the thing down so some of these passes got to be a little bit uh, mindful and he's got huge lift off oversteer And I'm slipping the clutch and I'm coming here way too hot. Managed to scrub the speed off. And here's that turbo right. lag. Don't want the turbo to kick in there. there. Now it can come in. Clear right. Okay. Big Ford GT. All being held up. With the suit. On your left. Jeepers! Hold your line. Go past him. Go past him. Hold your line. Mr. Banana, get past Clear him. Clear left. Okay. Left German side. Hammer versus American Hammer. Hold your line. 
Jim and Hammer wins. Clear left. Right side. Ooh, Clear right. Too close for comfort. Up into the top. Just catching the grass up the hill. Here we go. Yep, I'm liking this. I'm getting a nice spread of cars. Of various speeds and performance throughout the track so far. I'm managing this kind of car left tires chassis still there car, clear left track brakes and that turbo lag it's giving me a lot to think about Breaks a good solid poke. You come up on another. On your right. Clear right. Vehicles. Getting right side. Tangled up. Clear right. And going into a big tank slapper mode. I think we'll go for third here. Car could go a lot quicker around it. It's just the tyres can't. We are literally sideways everywhere. Uh, lift off over stair, trying to catch me out everywhere. Okay, Left okay, side. Okay, 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 okay. Hold your line. Didn't have enough room to accelerate and brake before that bend to get round him. Curb, curb pulled me in, got away with that, over the jump, braking before, before we get to it, back end kicking up in the air, double right hander, these corners are starting to open up now, get a bit quicker, which is tempting, but it will end in disaster in this thing, I am just feeling the edge of the grip of what I've got. Fourth here. No, no, slide, 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 slide. Ah. Okay, we would have su survived that. Although the cheapest creepers, this car is a handful. Tires are up to temperature, but a little bit of uh, you go off, you get a bit of dirt on the tires. And uh, that's enough just to lose any idea of what traction you've actually got with these. The tyres are awful. But match what would have been in the car. It was never renowned for its handling. It's renowned for um, many things, not its handling. Great Autobahn top speed. And... Uh, being absolutely insanely sideways around any bend it looked at. That is, yeah, there you go, masses of understeer. And then blink an eye and it'll be into oversteer city. So that was a lap. That's enough for anybody's. Uh, nerves in this thing beautiful car to drive historically accurate terrible race car but it was never meant to be a race car right so anyway the uh, the old putting cars on the track and having a, a a track day where you're coming across stuff regularly works starting up in a practice lap thanks to those who pointed it out last time I tried this okay have a good weekend adios